Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today we'll be looking at track panning modes in Reaper. But before we get started, if you've not already done so, click the subscribe button below. Also, we're on Discord now as well. Click the link in the description to join us on Discord and hang out with me, Adam from Hot Pole Studios, the other Adam from Hi YouTube I'm Dad, Arya from IDD QD Sound, and John from Reaper Blog. Let's get started. The project I have open is a pop punk song that I recently tracked drums for. The guitars, bass, and vocals were pre-recorded tracks that were sent to me as stereo reference tracks. The default pan mode in Reaper is stereo balance. If you right click the pan knob, we can see that the pan mode is set to the project default, which is stereo balance. What that means is that whether your track is mono or stereo, turning the track 100% left will play all contents of that track on the left side only, and turning it all the way to the right will play all contents of that track to the right. Let's test by soloing and listening to the guitars. And to the left. And to the right. And back to center. Reaper has other track pan modes that will give you a bit more control over your panning. Let's right click the pan knob on the guitars track and change from the project default, which again is stereo balance mono pan, and let's switch to stereo pan. We can see that the knobs have changed on the track and we now have a left right pan balance and we also have a width control. In this mode, the pan knob still behaves in the same way that it did in the previous mode. If I pan the track 100% left or right, the contents of the stereo file will be played on the left or right. but with the width control, I can change the stereo width of the track. It's currently set to 100% width. Let's see what happens as I reduce the width. At 0% width, our track becomes mono and is played straight up the center. We can also change the width to minus 100% to invert the signal for a stereo track. The inverted signal would put items that were previously on the right on the left side, and vice versa. Let's take it back to 100% width for now and check the other option. I'll right click the pan knob again, and change from stereo pan to dual pan. This gives us two independent sliders for left and right and allows us to change the distance between left and right. I'll play the guitar track in solo again while adjusting the left slider. As you can hear, as I adjust this slider, the left gets closer to the right. This may not be too terribly useful for a stereo guitar track. It can come in handy for stereo overheads on drums where the mics may have been a little bit too close to each other. Basically, this allows you to adjust the stereo image to fit the project needs. I'll right click this and take it back to my preferred setting, which is stereo pan. You can do this on a track by track basis as we've been doing, but you can also change your project defaults. Let's take a look at that. Click on file and go to project settings. Alternately, you can reach project settings with the default key press of Alt-Enter. Under the Advanced tab, we can see that our pan mode is currently set to Stereo Balance Mono Pan Default. You can click the drop-down arrow and switch that to whichever method you choose, my preference being Stereo Pan, and you can also save this as the project default. That way, any other project you open in the future will have Stereo Pan as its default. Once I press OK, you may have to click the tracks in order for the graphics to change, but now we've got our Stereo Pan mode on all of our tracks. A lot of guitar-driven music tends to have the guitars panned hard left and right. As we saw before, the guitar track that was provided for this project is a stereo track and they are panned hard left and right, and we currently have our width set to 100%. We can make our track seem wider by placing our instruments in a proper physical space and working with the stereo width. For example, right now our drums are at 100% width, as are our guitars, and so is the bass. Let's take a listen. Now that doesn't sound bad, but we can make a bit more space for those guitars by bringing the drums closer towards the center. If we take a look at the individual tracks for the drums, we can see that the overheads are panned left and right, the room mics are panned left and right, and the toms are panned out as well, but the overall width of the drums is 100%. Let's bring that into about 80% and listen to how it affects the song. So by controlling the stereo width, we set up more of a virtual space, so to speak, with the drums being in the center stage and not spreading all the way out, and a guitar on either side of the drums. It just really helps to create more room for each instrument by working with these pan options. 
I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link below. I like coffee. I didn't like this stuff as much as I thought I would. I should probably stick to coffee.